three time Young Australian Arts of the Year and I've got a few awards from painting and drawing from that as well. Um, I'm currently illustrating a picture book for a company over at Melbourne Ford Street Publishing. Um, so this is my typical style. Sometimes I do watercolour as well, but for Year 12 I thought it wouldn't be good to push it to start experimenting with other things. So can I just get a show of hands, who actually likes this drawing? Okay, no, who doesn't? It's alright, I don't mind, that's the whole point of it. So who doesn't like it? Anyone? Okay, well why do you like it? Okay, well it's called Allegory for the Modern Woman, so does anyone have any ideas what it means? Yeah? I, I haven't explored it to see what it means, but I feel that like it's a very strong central figure, but I love it now, it's the, the visuals, and it's got a wonderful detail that shows the skill of it, the front of it, that shows it here. Who is that so much? Okay, well the drawing itself is polysemic, so it's meant to have more than one meaning. That, of course, is in effect of our own context. We as people experience a context in a different way. So I'm originally from the outback, whereas then I moved to Northern and now I'm in Perth during university. So to me, it means something else. I um, decided, for me personally, it would all be about women in society. So you've got the central figure, which is the fox, who, which is appropriated from Snow White, is having her fur put back on her. The original concept for the drawing was a fur coat, but that was censored twice by my school, so I couldn't go through with it because it didn't conform to their ethic standards. So the central figure of the fox, it's cunning, it's sly, sometimes women are just seen as that way. Some of the characters from Walt Disney, for example, are very um, serious in that matter. Now, putting the coat back on it, it's, it's almost a symbol of wealth. You remember back when we had the fur coats, and now that has been completely out because of animal welfare and animal rights which then comes back down here to the middle. So these are a set of scales. You have the cockerel, which is a symbol of the man masculinity. It's derived from the patriarchy of our old society. So now there's been third, first, second, third wave feminism. Even though women are socially liberated, we in a sense are not. There's still not that many in politics. There's still people that are underpaid. There is not evident equality. You have the Ferrari symbol, so it's wealth, statues of wealth. Um, the medicine symbol, which then relates to the rabbit on the other side. The rabbit is a symbol of vivisection and all the pain and all the misery we cause for our so-called plight of beauty. That, of course, is a social understanding. It's a social creation and we are conditioned in order to relate to that and to conform to that. Now, we have these two banners here. The top one says for sale. Um, it is translated from English into Kish, which is a dead Alaskan language I was taught by a friend. The banner down the bottom says Io sono donna, which is Italian, but it has been mistranslated. Io meaning I, sono I am, woman. It's a loss of culture basically, a loss of taste, loss of class, the kitsch that we see prevalent within society. These skulls, they are degradation, they are growth, they are death, whatever you want to call them. So. You've got a skull, you've got a hair, you've got more muscle and eventually it gets to where we are now which is alive and then we start ageing, death, degradation. It's also a reference to the Sibyl, which in Greek mythology she asked for eternal life but not eternal youth and by the end of it she was put in a cage and her body was just rotting around her but she could not die. So it's that plight for eternal youth, eternal beauty, that immortality that we strive for so we aren't forgotten. Now this thing here it's a reference to Leda and the Swan, so the Greek myth. Now, Leda was a beautiful woman and the god Jupiter wanted to seduce her, so he turned himself into a swan. There are many, many Renaissance um, images about that myth, so. Going back to that, Philia, you then have these roses here. They are in reference to the ovaries. So it's all about the woman, it's all about her construct. We have to construct ourselves to be within the society. We cannot just walk out however we want. To an extent, we have to conform. There is no individuality, despite how much we'd like to think so. So that's probably the rough of it. Considering the media, pencil is just something that I am most comfortable with. I've always drawn, I've never painted, so pencil just seemed to suit. It's actually done in graphite, so there are varied levels. There's 9B, 6B, 8B. 
whatever, that's just how it turned out. How I drew it, I actually started down here and then worked my way around that way, um, filling in the background as I went. Now I'd layer it in pencil and then I'd actually use an eraser. So I draw more with an eraser than I do with a pencil. So that way you can take off the grading. It's sort of like oil painting, but it's basically drawing in reverse to an extent.